Welcome back, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. I'm currently here in front of my house in Austin, Texas, about to embark on quite the adventure. Right now, I got my boat, she's back there somewhere, all hooked up and ready to roll. I'm actually driving here from Austin, Texas, all the way up to Dallas to my buddy John B's place, who you guys are all familiar with. We're gonna link up with John B. I'm gonna drop my boat off at his place, rig up some rods, and then go stay with another buddy that lives in Dallas. So we got quite the driving to do. Oh, and before all that, I'm gonna make a pit stop in Waco, Texas, and uh, pick up a couple essentials for our trip. Tomorrow morning, super, super early. I'm going back over to John's place, gonna pick up my boat and hit the road. We got like a four hour drive give or take and we're really going into the middle of nowhere to a lake that's been on john and i's radar for a while and some absolute monster bass have been getting caught out of there so we obviously have one goal in mind and that is to go capitalize on the great summertime fishing this lake holds and hopefully catch some double digit bass which this lake is 100 percent known for we're hoping for the best and uh hope that this is gonna pan out we're gonna catch some giant bass i appreciate all you guys tuning in once again it's gonna be quite the journey and uh look forward to seeing some giant bass let's go get it done made it to the cabela's stop number one of the road trip just want to pick up a few extra baits that i feel like might be crucial in catching some of these double digit largemouth but haven't been to this specific cabela's in waco texas in a long time this used to be the halfway point for me and john b to meet up years and years ago my mom would drop me at this very cabela's and john would pick me up and we'd go about fishing and doing whatever else we were doing but this is always where we would stop and pick up some necessities for whatever fishing adventure we were going on that's exactly what we're doing right now Got some weights, some worms, crankbait, some line. Spent way too much money for such little stuff, but that's how it goes. And uh, hoping that it's gonna be money well spent. And it will be money well spent if it's used to catch some giant bass. I'm gonna throw it in my boat and then get back on the road because we still have a while ahead of us. Stop number one complete, let's keep moving. Oh, he just ate it, dude. Did he not just eat that? Dude, I swear he did. He did. Oh. He just pecked it again. Smoke him. Yeah, big one, dude. Big one. Big one, bro. Big one. Oh, wow. Nice one, dude. Can we get him? It's a good fish. <laughs> nice one, dog. <laughs> That's awesome. That's why we came out here. Let's go. <laughs> That's well, amazing. guys, finally, a long awaited. Oh my god, bro. At least, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Why don't we have a scale, dude? <laughs> oh my god. How big do you think, man? Over eight. I don't know. I don't know. We don't have a scale. Dude, that is so stupid. First, first like actual bite for you today. Yeah. Well, guys, we drove out here at three in the morning, as I told you all, all the way out to the middle of nowhere, West Texas, with the hopes of catching one like this. We made it happen. Nice job, yes, bro. Yes, sir. That's amazing. It's been, a, it's been a grind, but this bite right here makes it all worth it. Just smoke that giant <laughs> maggle monster. So there's plenty more in this lake this size. So we're going to get a couple picks and then let her go. That's a beast. Of course, I did not bring a scale, but that fish is every bit of... I think nine. Yeah, at nine least. pounds. At least. <laughs> Pretty awesome. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh my gosh. This thing dude. is built. This is not what a summertime bass is supposed to look like. Wow. Just completely fat. Big old shoulders, big old eyes. A beautiful specimen. Man, what a fight. And uh, thanks for grabbing her, Jason. Yeah, no worries. Woo. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, Absolute Goliath. And man, that woke me up. Oh, what a beautiful giant bass, baby. Let her breathe. Oh man, that makes it all <laughs> worth it. Holy cow. Let's Keep grinding. Let's yeah, get there's another. more out there. Hey, Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Get him. Let's drop her on your side. So Are you recording? Yeah. <laughs> that was so stupid, bro. That was actually the dumbest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Bring it over here. Six pounder. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy catches a nine and a six. Little your first drop. <laughs> that was like a five, maybe. Holy Good cow. Fish, oh my gosh. Oh, that was completely random. I was trying to get that fish and I missed twice and I'm like, just get him. Like, just catch him. And I literally dropped it straight down <laughs> and she smoked it and was caught up in the trolling motor and somehow still landed her. Our average is pretty pretty good. Yeah, we're working our way up yeah. for sure. Maybe a, another old one eye. Yeah, another old one eye. John caught one this morning that only had one eye. And this one, this one also. Nice fish. Oh yeah. Good job. <laughs> Not quite as big as my last, but I'm gonna take it. It was like a reaction strike. Yeah. I guess I missed her completely. Good girl. There she goes. Boom. Let's keep going. Well, this is the name of the game right here. Just a 12-inch plum apple maggle monster. Like my favorite time. Or my favorite color this time of year you've seen in my previous video i was catching some nice fish down in central texas on it and uh brought it over here to west texas and doing the same thing just dragging a worm putting it on their head and they're smoking it but uh that was pretty brutal considering i just got that fish in the trolling motor so i'm gonna i'm gonna retie and then keep dropping it straight underneath the boat i guess that was pretty crazy. That was super fucking crazy. Not bad at all. No, it fucking feels amazing. Yeah. ripping around a crankbait and it just got all mushy on me and I'm loaded up on a big one. I don't know, dude. Seven or eight? Oh my gosh, this lake is so stupid. Maybe they want some, maybe they want the crank, dude. Yeah, maybe, maybe they don't want the, they don't want the, it is windy. Oh, it's a good fish. Yeah, it's a seven, six, seven pounder. Oh, that was so dope. Bring her here. Bring her here. Did you get her to jump board? Oh, <laughs> big ugly. Big ugly. Oh my gosh, dude. You're on a roll today, cuz. Oh, put it there. Big That's crush. a stud. 
That is a look snake. at the colors on that fish. That thing just does not look right. Holy but smoke that Guggen crank chartreuse and blue probably the best color in that dirty water <laughs> that's a stud oh my gosh i don't have a wide enough lens dude oh my gosh good fish just barely falls right out oh my gosh oh. wow beast oh, what a stud beast Hell yeah. <laughs> oh there's probably close to an eight pounder smoked the crank man this is something special. Got a nine, an eight, and a five. Pushing a six pounder. Unreal. And uh, we still got plenty of daylight, so we're gonna try and get a few more girls like this and hopefully one two pounds bigger. That's great, I'm happy for you. That feels quite terrific. I quite nice, bro. Running about a 50% risk of getting a brain-eating amoeba, but for the temporary relief of the heat, my brain, totally worth it. Give it about three days and we'll see. Fingers crossed that nothing happens. Little late day update we're pretty much just life of pieing in the middle of the lake right now the cranking battery unfortunately has taken a a poop on us so we no longer have the cranking battery and we're now running the graph the trolling motor and the starter all to the two 12 volt trolling motor batteries but considering i got to john's last night at nine the boat wasn't plugged in until 10 and we took it off the charger at three in the morning. I'm not sure it got the proper charge she needed, but honestly, so far, she's lasted enough to catch us some, catch me some large bass. But uh, we're gonna hope that everything doesn't die on us and we're gonna continue fishing until the light is no longer. But, yep, we're out here in the middle of nowhere. Gonna get another big one. Let's do it. Fishing today. Um, you guys want to book a trip with me? I'm guiding out in West Texas, half cent fishing. That's me. Oh, he pretty much summed it up for you. But that is the end of day one. We still have plenty of time ahead of us. We got tomorrow and the next day to catch something over ten. But honestly, really, really good first day. A nine give or take an eight give or take and a six give or take that's pretty dang good in my books very oh yeah and he caught a five but a 25 pound. We'll for... oh yeah and a 25 pound catfish all in all fun day very few bites but the ones we did get were big and uh yeah we're just gonna run some new stuff tomorrow hopefully get a donk hopefully john can hook up to one what you think buddy um yeah man i love i love fishing with grant he's probably one of my favorite guides out here and uh in Texas, definitely the most knowledgeable. Um, unfortunately, they'll expect the day to end a little early, only has a tiny battery in the back of his boat, so it will die inevitably. True. Well, I was actually expecting my client did to bring, it, did Well, it, he did bring a battery, it just didn't work. Didn't bring drinks either. I Get did, I got, the, I got the gallons. I don't know, I mean, it was good for him, but I just, as a client, I just feel like I was robbed. But anyway, yeah. Hey, get dialed, buddy. Pretty much sums it up. Another happy client, Jonathan Barzacchini. Tried our best to put him on one, but you know, sometimes, sometimes his, you know, the money goes just as far when he's watching me slack out on some giant bass. But won't be getting a tip. <laughs> no tips. No tips today. Dang it. Well, see you bright and early tomorrow morning. pursuing fish uh sun just rose so that's pretty cool it did in uh, fact just rise and that signals the start of morning number two out best, here with one of my better friends <laughs> <laughs> jonathan barsacchini
But uh, yeah, this is the start of morning number two out here in beautiful West Texas. As you guys saw, yesterday was quite the success. We ended up catching some monster fish of all species. Um, <laughs> couple giant bass and then that one huge yellow cat. But um, all in all, it was a great day, a long day. We're, we're much more rested now, feeling very optimistic. The boat's looking 15 times more clean than she was at the end of yesterday. But uh, courtesy of Jonathan Barsakini. We're gonna kind of run the pattern we did yesterday and that is really no pattern, but just going around looking for giant fish on the scope, pitch on their forehead. They munch or 95% of the time they don't, but you come across that one big one that does want to eat and um, it's game on. So we're gonna bounce around, try some new stuff, not fish one area too long and uh, kind of just stick with our guns out here and hopefully catch something in that double digit class. We do have a scale today, so hopefully we can work our way up to a mega sack. Let's go get them. Get him. Got him. Yeah. Can we grab him? Oh my god. Oh my god. Can we grab him? Yeah. God. Oh my god. <laughs> that was so Double. That was insane. That was insane. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Holy cow, guys. I am hooked up. <laughs> okay. God, it's a giant, bro. You good, you good. Oh no. Ending on a bang, dude. <laughs> Ending on a bang. Holy cow. How big is that, dude? I don't know. We're finding out here a little bit. Oh my god. Look at that fish, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Let's, go. Let's go, dude. Oh. A oh, little bit speechless right now, but for the last six hours, I have been feeling like absolute oh crap. God. I bet that's close. Close. It's close. But um, I decided to get up and fish the last hour, and it paid off. Missed two others and jammed this one. I'm sh shaking pretty heavy. You can get this footage. Let's go this way. Buzzer beater bacon, dude. <laughs> Holy, Holy cow. Wow. That was a stud. Man, what a fight. Just gulp that swim jig swimming real fast. She's short, but oh look my. at the proportion on that toad. <laughs> Let me see its mouth. There you go. Wow. Gonna get a weight on her, give her some water, and then let her go. Holy cow, that feels good. Nice job, dude. No, not quite. Nine two. Nine pounder, yeah. though, dude. Holy <laughs> shit. Holy cow. <laughs> that is amazing, dude. Well, guys, second weight, nine six. Just completely round. Insane proportions for such a big bass and what a way what a way to end the day after a long day that was my third bite all within like 20 minutes of each other and I missed two and was feeling a little down on myself and I got that one holy cow I'm still shaking but that makes up for <laughs> we still have some sun though. we still let's, let's keep cranking
Oh, she's on it. It's all that. Begging. Yeah. You mean to grab her? Oh, wow. Begging, dude. Stuck? No. no, I got it. Oh my god, there's a big fish. You mean to grab him? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> nice one, dude. <laughs> well, guys, saw this fish parked up on that tree. Dropped my worm right over her. She smoked. Oh my god, so bad. Yes, sir. Look at that thing. God, that thing is just not built correctly. You start the day. <laughs> <laughs> well. Oh, big, I saw your rod go. <laughs> big old worm fish right there, boys. Woo. Man, stuck that fish, but saw her just parked up on that tree. Dropped the worm. Watched it go right over her head. <laughs> Look at the build on that. Typically, as most of you know, summertime bass are characterized by being long and skinny, but this is the exact opposite. It is completely round and filled out like it's spring or winter, just built up. Gonna get a weight and some photos, get her back down to her tree. Woo! Whenever you're ready. Started to swim out, and I swam my worm right through the tree and then dropped it right over her head. And she went, Whew! and I lost her for a second. And my line just started moving. I was like, oh, there it goes. Whew. Well, as you guys saw, day number three has started off with a bang. We got the eight pounder right off the rip. John caught a big one, and then I dumped a nice one, but not one of the huge, huge ones. But we just pulled over on the bank, taking a quick potty break and then we're gonna get back to it honestly been such an amazing fishing trip yesterday i was feeling pretty crappy um but took some tylenol slept it off and i'm feeling great and very optimistic for the rest of the day we still we still got so much light today and uh we're both gonna focus up and try and break that double digit because we know she's in here and we've honestly probably had a few shots at her so far feeling that five fish limit today and uh, i'm thinking we might get that absolute giant let's keep running <laughs> 